What's up guys? In this video we'll be looking at random number generators. So a random number generator can be helpful in many ways. For example, when you're trying to generate something random. So if it generates a certain number, you can make the app do something that you want it to. Anyways, let's open an Xcode project. Uh, let's create a new project. Um, this does work with iOS, watchOS, tvOS, OSX, but for this video I will be using iOS. This does work with a master detail page base single view tabbed application, but for the purpose of this video I'm going to be using a single view application. Call this whatever you want. I'll call it random numbers. Uh, language Swift, device is universal, even though it does not matter. You do not need core data. I just have it on for the heck of it. Go ahead and save it wherever you want. And hit create. Alright. I'll make this a little bigger. Let's head over to our main.storyboard file, first of all. Here, now we're going to put here is that, uh, let's resize this first, let's add a button, and we'll say tap me, and I, I'm not dealing with constraints in this video, but we can use auto constraints for that, and finally a label. Now this is the number it's going to show. Now let's make that zero lines. Alright, so pretty basic app. Let's open up our assistant editor. Make sure that you're on your view controller for this view controller. We're going to drag the label, control, click and drag. This is going to be an outlet, we'll call this text. And the tap me button, it's control drag again. This is going to be an action, and we'll say tap me. So now we're going to create a uh, random number generator. So we can do that by typing, uh, creating a variable called whatever. I'll call it random number. And the number is equal to arc for random underscore arc for random without the parentheses underscore uniform uin32 delete the uin32 part and so this is where you can enter the number of random numbers you want so if I want four random numbers, I'm going to insert four. If I want two, I'm going to insert two random numbers. So let's go with um, let's go with ten. Now we're going to say if random number is equal equal to zero. Now ten is not a number. It's going to start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So even if you set it up as 10, it's not going to be counting the number 10. So just do this for all your numbers. Alright, so we got 10. Awesome. So if this is 1, 2, Only nine. So, if the random number selects zero, we can set the label dot text equal to uh, zero. So I'm gonna do that. The label dot text will be equal to the number. Let's say text dot text is equal to quotation marks zero. So I'm just gonna copy that for every number. Alright, so now I'm just going to change the numbers so that we know which button was pressed. And 9. So you can set it to whatever you want. You can make it show, uh, you can make it go to a different view controller. You can 
at an image view and select a random image. But you get the idea. So if random number is equal to one, do something. In this case, we're going to set the text, which I'm going to delete here, equal to uh, the number that the random number generator chose. Now let's build and run. Here's our simulator. All right. The app has loaded. So we're going to press, press tap me. Eight. 8932. There's no uh, pattern here, as you can see. So it is generating a completely random number 0549427128875551289. So very random. It's just picking a random number. Alright, so that's that. Completely random. So that's how you use random number generators, and random number generators can be used in many ways. They don't have to be used with labels, they can be used with images, or maps, or whatever. Even in games. So thanks for watching, do subscribe, I make videos every week, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.